other day you were saying it's about situations. What was the situation there where you were able to read the play, make the stop, and how much do you think that, that, that helped your team given that that's been an area that has been a problem spot for you guys lately? Yeah, I think after the first one, and then um, you got to make the next one and the next one and the next one, right? So it's all about um, plays at the right time, at the right moment. It doesn't matter if it's a save, a hit, um, blocking shots. I think that was huge today. I think that's uh, one of the first games we actually um, got in shooting lane. We blocked some shots, and those are key moments of the game. And then obviously scoring goals at the right time, right? Uh, we didn't have the luck the last couple of games where we like had a breakaway, we hit the post. To tie up the game or to make it uh, two to one. So, um, yeah, different key moments throughout the game for sure. How huge does that feel for you personally tonight? Like that? Yeah, it was, um, was good. Um, obviously, it's not only for me, it's uh, for the whole group, right? Um, we build on that. That's the standard we set. And we got to come out and do the same thing against a really, really good hockey team here coming up against Carolina. Um, everybody is doing the right things. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's. Um, good reads, stick, blocks, um, whatever, PK, power play, um, and we build on that. I'm sure the guys, sorry. Phil, if you've talked a lot about being quiet in goal, there's a lot of chaos in the goal in front of you in the third period. How do you stay quiet? Um, yeah, I mean, they're trying to make a push and throw everything at the net, right? Um, get some bodies in front, so either for sticks, rebounds, uh, yeah. Um, and we did a phenomenal job today of boxing guys out and uh, getting underneath guys and not letting them have too many chances. What was the key to holding Ovechkin to only a goal and uh, Oshie and the other uh, Washington players? You guys did a great job today. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, it's everybody on the ice, the whole line. You got to be um, aware of who is on the ice. I know they're missing a couple of key guys. Back, Oshie wasn't in the lineup. Uh, Lars. So I think they're a different team without them, but it uh, doesn't mean because of those guys are out, uh, Ovi, Kuzi, and Willi, they're still a dangerous team and they make it happen for them. It doesn't matter um, how big of a chance you give them, they, they always find a way, and that's uh, how we won the Stanley Cup too. So um, you got to be aware, shut them down, and don't give them too much time. I'm sure that the, uh, the guys feed off of you making saves behind them, but how much do you feed off of them? You know, selling out blocking shots. There are a lot of huge block shots there for this period. Yeah, sometimes I can't even see the puck, so um, they're bailing me out a lot by blocking a shot or getting the stick in underneath a guy so you can't uh, shoot it. So um, obviously you want to be a wall back there and uh, have everything under control and be uh, as emotionless as I can and uh, make the right stop at the right time. How would you describe what maybe made this first period different than the past few first periods you've had in terms of just getting out to a quicker start? Uh, we had a couple conversations there yesterday in the locker room. Um, I, everybody wants it. Everybody everybody was working hard. Um, but sometimes I don't think you're working too hard. You're not working. You're working maybe hard, but not smart enough. So we had a couple conversations, and um, it's kind of embarrassing to, I don't know how many games we lost, six, six nothing at home uh, or six in a row at home. You, even last game, we scored the first goal at seven nothing. The fans cheers on. I mean, it's incredible. Like, I've been in places where they throw beer cans at you. <laughs> so, um, so no, you know what I mean. But like, um, just to have that support, and we wanted to come out and give the fans what they want, and we need those points. We can, we can uh, lose another game and lose another. Game. So we got to get going here, and I think that was the right time. So staying with that, when you're all having these group conversations, like, what is that level of honesty like to where you just put it all out there? And then what sort of goes into that? I mean, yes, there's that self-pride, but, like, do you look at it in that bigger scope of, hey, we have fans who are still here, we have people doing this, spending money to watch us play, we have a coach, like, all these different things. Like, what is all that like to manage? Um, yeah, you just go around the, the, the guys, and uh, the leadership group puts in, puts in a word, but... You're not only playing for the fans in the city and the logo in front of you, you're playing um, for the guy next to you. And everybody's got to keep himself accountable. And we want to make sure everybody's there for the teammates and does their job and makes it easy and make uh, your teammates' job easy. So uh, I think we had to clear a couple things. And yeah, today we went out there, 
uh, played loose, but uh, tied at the same time, smart, and yeah, that's how you need to play against Carolina again. Hey, Philip, you, you mentioned block shots, but it felt like there were a number of scramble plays where your guys were getting to those loose pucks. Do you even see that happening when, when those scramble plays, or how much does that help you out tonight? Yeah, it's, it's huge, right? Um, not only blocking shots, but letting me see the puck, and if there's a rebound, um, guys are right there. Um, that's how other teams, we do the same thing, create offense. And I, it's, it's a huge part of the game, our D zone, our net front coverage. And that's where you need to be good in front of our net, in front of their net.